In the first video, we look at the, multi the intuition behind the multiplier process. In the second video, we'll look at how can we calculate the multiplier. And in this video, we will explain why and how those numbers getting where how we get those numbers on our multiplier process. And also eventually how we know the total change in the expanding. So first we will introduce this formula. So in order to understand how much change will happen at the end of the uh, circling, and we need to know the, this formula. So the total change in spending, so the total change in GDP, is equal to the multiplier, which is 1 divided by 1 minus MPC, and multiplied by the initial change in the aggregate spending, so the initial change in the GDP. So what this means is we try to see, okay, if initially, for instance, we decrease the investment of $100 billion, and totally, after we go into many, many times of these circles, many, many times of these circles, and how much totally we change in our GDP. So to illustrate this process, let's use a very simple examples. The consumption function equal to $100 plus 0.75 YD. So the YD is the disposable income. So the consumption uh, means equal to the $100, which is autonomous consumption, and plus the 0.75 multiplied by YD. So which is, this is the income independent consumption. So the 0.75, which is MPC. So that is my marginal propensity of consumption. So if the Disposable income decreased by one dollars, and the consumer will spend seventy five cents less in consumption. So that's how we interpret this MPC. So let's think about the GDP. So how we calculate GDP? So the GDP equal to C plus I plus G plus net export. So any part in these four component decrease will cause the GDP decrease. So now let's think about two parties. So let's think about the situation producer and the consumer and two peoples. So producer and consumer. So let's just put that in everything in the big setting like 2007 financial crisis. So it happened because the producer decreased the investment. So we know initially it's decreased the investment. So let's say they decrease the investment by $100. Don't decrease too much. So decrease $100. So what does this mean? By looking at the multiplier process diagram, the cycles, the circles. So if the producer decreases the investment by $100, so the produce product market will also decrease $100, and which means the salary to for business to offer to the employee will decrease $100 too. So if the salary, the salary decreased by $100, what does that mean for the consumer? So the per consumer will have $100 less in the disposable income. So because the MPC effect, if the consumption, the disposable income decreased by $100, that means their consumption will also decrease, but it's decreased by 100 multiplied by the $0.75. So that is how much they would reduce in consumption. That is by $75. If it is consumption decreased by $75, and it will uh, in further impact in the product market. And the product market, the sale will fall $75. If the production, uh, the product market decreases by seventy-five dollars, it will give pressure to the producer. So what producer can do is, okay, I can reduce my cost by re uh, reducing the wages and a lower, uh, and uh, fire a couple of employees. So generally speaking, the whole society and their income, disposable income, will decrease by a hundred dollars multiplied by point seven five which is $75. So if the consumer will have $75 less in the disposable income, so further we go, you're going to find the consumer will spend less. Spend $100 money by 7.5, money by $0.75 less in the product. 
So the sale will find fail by a hundred million by point seven five million by point seven five dollars, and the producer need to reduce the cost, and then they will further decrease the salary by decrease by a hundred dollars million by point seven five point 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 seven five, and then that happen. So the consumer disposable income will decrease this amount. So then. They don't have enough income, so then they will further decrease their consumption. So the consumption will further decrease, given this is how much they decrease their income. A hundred month by point a point seven five point seven five, and then multiply by the disposable marginal propensity of consumption. So this is how much they will decrease in consumption. So this cycle will keep going on and on and on and until certain conversion point. So now let's summarize this whole market running. And the main thing is we try to understand how much in total the GDP decreased. So let's summarize. So the GDP initial change. So we're gonna separate different steps. So the GDP in the first step decrease is decreased by seven hundred a hundred dollars. This is caused by decrease in investment from the business. In the second step, the GDP keep further decrease by a hundred month by by point seven five dollars. It's change caused by the decrease consumption. Decrease the consumption. Then the third step, it will further decrease. Point five seven part by two. And this is also caused by the consumption. And the fourth step, it will further decrease. 0.75 power by three. This also caused by the consumption. And we can keep going on five step. You can imagine the same idea. So the 0.75 power by four divided by consumption and six step. And a hundred one by point seven four five point by five decrease is caused by consumption. So we can keep calculating. So the main thing here is we do understand for each step how much GDP will decrease. But our ultimate goal is trying to understand total change in spending, which means we will try to add all those changing together to understand how much. The economy really decreased. How our aggregate demand curve should, should shift. So that's we add all of them together. That's the final question we want to address. So that's very simple because every step you can find actually is following the geometry series. So the summation of the geometry matrix, the geometry series, is equal to the initial number. So here, which is a hundred dollars, initial number we decrease the hundred dollars, and multiply by one divide by one minus. So this is the geometry series. So we just look at for each step by how much percent the number decrease. So that is seventy five percent. So we my one minus. Point seven five. So this is the formula from the math class. So you can check it. This formula from your geometry class. This is called the summation of geometry series when the increase increment is less than one. So now if you look at this formula, so this initial number, so which is the initial change in the GDP, and one. Divide by one minus point seven five, so the point seven five is my MPC. So you will find this second component actually is my multiplier. We just learn. So now this formula is actually that's exactly what we we are seeing. The total change in spending equal to the multiplier multiplied by the initial change in aggregate spending. So now we are looking at a different scenario. Let's initial change in the aggregate spending be a hundred billion, and calculate the total change in spending when the multiply equal to ten. So what we are using is ten multiplied by a hundred billion. What we got is 
decrease by a thousand billion. How about multiply is five? So five multiplied by negative one hundred, we got decrease by five hundred billion. So if the multiplier is two point five, so the total change will be decreased by two hundred fifty billion. And I hope this video can help you to understand why and how this formula is coming from, and how we can apply the multiplier to understand what is the final total change in spending if initial change in the aggregate spending.